Indeed, uh, you still have a few hundred uh, Brexiteers, uh, diehard Brexit supporters, gathering here at Parliament Square outside Westminster, where this big party is happening. Uh, those who are still here are sipping champagne. Crowds were much larger earlier, earlier on in the, the build-up to this big moment, this historic moment, when the country officially uh, left the European Union. I saw some people here in tears. Their dream came true uh, minutes ago. Uh, they came from all over the country to be here in London, in the heart of the power of the country outside Westminster for this moment, for this event, for this leave means leave party, as they labelled it. And you had several uh, Brexit figures uh, come up on stage behind me and addressed uh, and address uh, these uh, Brexit supporters. And of course, there was Nigel Farage, their favorite, uh, the man who, according to them, made Brexit happen. That's how he was introduced anyway. Nigel Farage had very strong words saying, the war is over, we have won. Not quite uh, words that can uh, heal the wounds in a very divided uh, nation. Nigel Farage also saying that this was a victory against the establishment. We achieved something truly remarkable. And what might have been a bit more surprising was when Nigel Farage said that Boris Johnson was acting the same way. Boris Johnson is saying all the right things. Those were the words of the Brexit party leader. So here, clearly, Catherine, uh, a lot of very happy, ecstatic uh, Brexit supporters from all over the country who gathered here, uh, waving the uh, Union Jack, uh, singing uh, national anthems uh, such as Rule Britannia or the Land of Hopes and Glory, and a very important moment for them, a historic moment, of course, for the nation.